Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this video my highest streak yet. And by streak I mean kills and by kills I mean kills that aren't made with score streaks. So just gun kills. I've got 19 in a row, then I died by a ruin with gravity spikes. Too bad, doesn't matter. I'll get a, a better streak sometime. We don't know. It's actually pretty funny, because in every Call of Duty game I play, my first record of kills is, is um, a Ruthless, and that's the highest I can get for a long time, but after that, suddenly, I just get my DNA bomb, or nuclear, or chem strike, however you want to call it, I get my 30 kill streak, or yeah, gun streak. I'm curious if I'm able to get a nuclear after this record in Black Ops 3. That would be crazy. Then I know that I have to go for my Ruthless first and then my DNA bomb nuclear thing. Yeah. So actually what I did in this gameplay is playing careful. I wouldn't call it rushing at all and yeah, I didn't rush at all actually. There might have been one or two times that I had to rush, <laughs> but no, that's not rushing. This game is not about rushing. This gameplay is not about rushing. It's about playing carefully, watch where your enemies are, and think about it. Is it handy to go there? Can I get some kills? Or will they crush me when I walk in there? So uh, be careful, use your cover. Head glitch, that doesn't matter if you had glitch, even if people call you campers, you end up getting the highest score of them all. So, but don't camp too much, you know, stay for 10 seconds on the same spot, if they aren't coming, then move to another spot, or uh, rush camping, so you can still, yeah, say that you're rushing, but no, never mind, doesn't matter. Play how you, how you like, and uh, this style suited me a lot, very much. So, I was just doing like team that match, and I was like, wait, I'm going to change my style completely. Let me try to play a little more careful, and boom, up to 19, 19 gun streak. That's pretty high, and if you can... Try to save your teammates. That's very important too. You're going to need them to push towards your enemy spawn to spawn trap them or something else. And so your friendly, uh, so wow, you so your teammates can save you too. Really try to save them and try to yeah. You have and so wow. You don't have to kill every enemy you see sometimes they pass too quick and you think oh too bad I want to get it I want to get him I want to rush behind him follow him and get him I ended up dead so many times by trying to do that so just if you see them pass let them go if you're in a party if you're communicating with your teammates tell them that that enemy went there maybe you can get an assist or something but don't follow it, that's a stupid thing to do. And when you die by uh, an under enemy that's camping around the corner, that is so annoying. So please don't do that. My teammates, uh, wow, my teammates rage quit a lot by doing that. They rush after somebody because they want to get the kill on the points and then they get killed by a camper. So just uh, stay calm, think about it, should I follow him? And yeah, actually you always have to think, where do I go next? How can I do it? And will I get points? Will I get kills? Will I help uh, my teammates? Will I, um, how do you call that, do the objective? So, in a few seconds, this uh, here will be the end of my streak. Almost got 
the how do you call it relentless i think i was at 19 but i got killed by the ruined gravity spikes you know what doesn't matter almost had him though and yeah i'll see you guys next week enjoy the rest of this gameplay Artillery get in the wind. Mess with the best, die like the rest. 